lot of programming in that job and also statistics. I had to, in that role, uh, I basically had to write computer programs that would manipulate large data sets, run statistical analyses on those data sets, and then I had to write expert reports based on the findings um, from those analyses. And I think that that's very similar to the work that you do in machine learning. The, the analytical side is a little bit different types of algorithms you're using, but definitely that knowledge of statistics transfers very well to... Um, I can agree with that. That's, that's, a, that, that's a surprising overlap, but yeah, I think that's got some, uh, some potential. And the programming as well is uh, you know, helpful, or has been helpful in making that transition. So I think those skills that I've picked up there uh, are making an asset. For this what kind of uh, machine learning algorithms that you worked with have done? Um, so I got started machine learning using a random forest algorithm, mm -hmm. which um, is, was created by, well, whatever. Uh, so in addition to that, um, I was just using that on my job for basic um, understanding of which variables were important in a uh, large data set. Which position? Uh, consulting associate. Okay. Um, so just trying to get an understanding of which variables were important in a large data set. Um, and from there, I moved on to primarily using neural networks, the types of neural networks that's interesting because I may not have mentioned in the job posting that one of my interests, well, let's, let me list them, <laughs> optimization techniques and applications in imaging, machine learning, and neuron network computing. So uh, although I haven't used exactly the same words, there are uh, some possibilities for other work for you in my group. Cool.